A runner and a walker start at the same point on a quarter mile or one fourth mile track and depart in the opposite direction. So let's say both a runner and a walker start here. And let's just say the runner runs in this direction at a rate of nine miles per hour. And therefore the walker would walk in the opposite direction or this direction at a rate of three miles per hour. Notice how they would be moving apart from each other at a combined rate of 12 miles per hour. And because they're on the track, they're also approaching each other at a rate of 12 miles per hour. And also notice how when they meet, they would have gone a combined distance of 1 fourth of a mile. So we can solve this problem using the formula distance equals rate times time, or d equals r times t where the distance traveled d, or the combined distance, would be one-fourth of a mile. The rate at which this distance would be covered would be the combined rate of 12 miles per hour. And our goal is to find the time this takes in seconds. But when we solve for t in our equation, because the rate is in miles per hour, this time is going to be in hours, which we'll then have to convert to seconds. So let's go ahead and set this up. Distance d equals one-fourth of a mile equals the rate times the time, which would be 12 times the unknown time t. So we have times 12t. Normally to solve for t, we would divide both sides by 12. But because we have a fraction here on the left, instead of dividing by 12, let's multiply by one-twelfth. So notice on the right side, this 12 is over 1, so this simplifies nicely to t. So the time t in hours would be equal to 1 over 12 times 4, 1 48th of an hour. So this is how long it would take for the two winners to meet on this track. But again, they want this time in seconds, not in hours. So let's work on converting 1 48th of an hour to seconds. To do this conversion, we'll multiply by unit fractions. So let's first convert hours to minutes. So we're gonna multiply by a fraction that's going to convert hours to minutes. Because we don't want hours in our time, we'll put hours in the denominator and minutes in the numerator. Notice how this h here would actually be in the numerator. And the conversion is one hour equals 60 minutes. Notice how in this product, the units of hours would simplify out. So notice how this product would convert the time to minutes. And let's go ahead and find this. Multiplying, notice how we would have 60 divided by 48 minutes, and 60 divided by 48 is equal to 5 fourths, or if we want, 1.25 minutes. But again, we want the time in seconds, not in minutes. So now we'll convert the time of 5 fourths, or 1.25 minutes, to seconds. So as a fraction, we'd have a denominator of 1, to convert minutes to seconds, because we don't want minutes in our answer, we'll write minutes in the denominator and seconds in the numerator. And the conversion is 60 seconds equals one minute. Notice how the units of minutes simplifies out, and therefore this product will give us the time in seconds. So 1.25 times 60 is equal to 75, and therefore the time it takes for the walker and runner to meet on the quarter mile track is 75 seconds. I hope you found this explanation helpful.